G'day everyone, today I'm gonna to do a product unbox for you on the BM Pro ProSmart. Now there's three different versions on the ProSmart. There's the premium version that I've got here in my hands and that's the one we'll unpack because that's got the most amount of gear inside. We've got a starter pack and we've also got a standard pack. The difference between them all I'll go into a little bit more but it basically comes down to how many sensors are in each one. So the starter's gonna have no sensors, no Bluetooth sensors inside and then the ProSmart will have half of what this has got but we'll unpack this one here, being the premium one. Now, the beauty of the ProSmart is it is designed to go into RVs, campers, caravans, trailers, the back of your ute, whatever you want to do, to be able to monitor a range of different information. So that could be the batteries, that could be the temperature, um, hardwired temperature, or it could be a, a temperature sensor inside your fridge, it could be a gas bottle, it could be your TPMSs. So these systems can manage up to 40 different sensors and you can pick and choose which ones you want to add. Now it works with the Smart Connect range. So the idea of this is that if you started, for example, with the starter kit with zero sensors and you only wanted to manage gas bottles, join these two together and away you go. Or only wanted to manage the TPMSs on your RV, then away you go. So you can add different sensors as you need, um, depending upon what your um, individual requirements are. All right, let's get into the unbox. I'll pull this apart and we'll show you what's inside. And then towards the end of the video, I'll show you a, a quick little setup on how it all goes together. So here we are, we're gonna do the unbox now on the ProSmart Premium. All right, let's get into this one. And here we go. So we've got the Smart Link here. So that is the brains of the system. So every one of these packs here from the starter to the standard and the premium will have a Smart Link inside here. That can take up to the 40 sensors, either wired or via Bluetooth. And inside the brains in here, there is a Bluetooth chip that then sends a signal out to your mobile phone. So it's a Bluetooth thing, you've got to be within range. It's like within your car. As soon as you exit out of the car, you're going to potentially lose that range. And different things can cause interference with that signal. So just be very wary of that. But when you're walking around your campsite, and you're with your RV, your caravan, motorhome, it should all be um, all within range and you shouldn't have any issues. Okay, so then we've got in here, we've got the Smart Temp. So we've got two of those, uh, one packed on top of each other. Now the Smart Temp, as I've mentioned to you before, with the Smart Connect range, if you wanted to get more of them, you certainly can. You can add up to 40 temperature sensors if that's the way you want to run the system. Okay, uh, next one is the Smart Sense. So that is our LPG monitor, our gas bottle monitor, which will tell you how much is in your gas bottle, uh, remaining gas. All right, there's two of those sensors sitting in there, one behind each other. Then you've got four TPMSs down the bottom. And if you wanted to add more TPMSs, you certainly can. Just grab hold of the pack here and grab some more of those. All right, so then underneath the smart link, we have a couple of cables. So the first cable is the all black cable. That has a temperature sensor on it with a, a sticker on the back of it. And with that sticker, you can attach it to somewhere with inside your RV, wherever that may suit. You've got a little positive and negative wires there. I'll show you how that sets up in the back end of the video. It just connects in on the side via the connectors on the side of the smart link. You also have a power cable, very important. This does not have a battery inside it. It does require 12 volt power. Um, and your 12 volt power is supplied using that cable. It has a fuse built into it. A couple of little eight mil battery terminal ringlets on there. And again, then you just connect these connectors into the side of your unit, which we'll go into. All right, and then we open up the, pull the box out, and under the bottom here in the box, you'll find more goodies. Okay, so we have the toolkit for your TPMS, so to put your TPMSs on with the safety locking nut, um, that's it there. We have screws for mounting the device, four holes in the sides, just screw it into the wall, and we also have the gel, which is used for the smart sense. Sometimes on the bottom of the gas bottles, if they're dirty or there's layers of paint, the smart sense doesn't get a good ultrasonic signal running up through the bottom of the bottle up to the top. So you put a couple of dobs of this grease uh, onto the sensor which sits between the two magnets and that'll help facilitate a better signal running through the gas bottle. Okay, so there you've got it. So with your premium kit, four TPMSs, two temperature sensors and your smart sense gas bottle detections and obviously your wire power cables for detecting your battery and powering it and also a hard wire temperature sensor. In the standard pack, you have the hardwired temperature sensor along with one portable temperature sensor, the Smart Temp, one Smart Sense for your gas bottle and two TPMSs. And then in the starter kit, 
you just have the power cable and from there then you add the other sensors through the Smart Connect range and whatever you want to add into it from there. So it's a good starter kit. It's a good option if you've got a camper trailer and just want to put a couple of TPMSs on and maybe one fridge sensor, you can just add it as you need. All right, so there you go. There's your three different ProSmart versions. All right, so the back end of this video now, we've done the unpack and we've walked through everything which comes in the box. So now I'm gonna do a very brief installation video for you. It's really, really simple to set up. I've taken the standard version here on the ProSmart. So with that, as I mentioned in, earlier in the video, you get a smart link device, which we've got here. Oh, I'd actually already pulled the cables out. So there's our power cable that gives us our battery voltage. There's our wired temperature sensor as well. We've got two TPMSs in here. We've got one smart sense and one smart temp. So I'll pull all those sensors out in a minute. First, we'll wire up the unit. Okay, so we take our smart link device and just looking at our smart link device here, just quickly run you through it. So we've got water tanks along the bank. Now I'm in my shed at the moment, so I don't have any water tanks for you, but I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. We'll put one in a bucket of water. So we've got monitoring up to four water tanks with the BM Pro Dipper. We've then got the CAN bus here, which we don't need at the moment, uh, and a display which we'll use for future needs, but not right at the moment. We've got a dip switch set up here. Don't change the dip switch settings, should be fine as it is, no need to change. So really, the start of your setup, all you need to do is you need to plug in and connect up your battery connection to provide power and detect the voltage and also your temperature. And we'll do that one now. All right, so taking the power cable, you'll already have a fuse built into the fuse holder just here, eight mil ring terminals. And we're gonna put these ends in here into the end of our smart link device. Just tidy those up a little bit. For those that want to get very vigilant and nice and tidy, solder the tips of these. I'm just going to get a small flathead screwdriver. And we've got a battery symbol here. Um, so you can see we've got a, a battery symbol and we've also got a temperature sensor. So we're going to do the battery one first. So we're going to put the red positive in. Nice and snow. Give a little bit of a tug test. It's not moving, it's good. Negative one. There you go, so negative's in now as well, so that's nice and snug. All right, so we'll now connect this up to the battery. Untangle our cable and make it a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna put the negative one on first. I've got my BM Pro Sentry lithium battery here. Charged it up last night. That way, snug it up so it's nice and tight, not over tight. And again, we'll snug this up. Okay, so we've now got power connected. All right, so this one here has got a little sticker on the back of the temperature sensor, so if you want to put it somewhere or under a bench. So if you just want it to be like ambient temperature or something like that, um, that'll work really, really well. All right, again, positive and negative, black and red. Negative. All right, again, give them a little bit of a tug. They're thinner wires, so don't go ripping them out. And then we're just going to leave this one sitting on the bench to pick up our ambient temperature um, on the outside. Um, this antenna here, the idea of the, this antenna, this antenna is for receiving. So it's for receiving the information from the Bluetooth sensors. So I'm going to go and put one of these on a gas bottle. I'll put the smart temp on the bench next to the other temperature. And I'll put the two TPMSs on maybe one of the motorbikes over the back just to show you how it works. All right, so we're wired up now and ready to go. Next step is to get it all connected up onto your app. So I went onto the Google Play Store and I've recorded this. So the next step is to now connect everything through to your Smart Link. So we're gonna get the Smart Link to talk to the Pro Smart app, which you'll find in the store. Now to do it next, as it shows you on the phone here, there's a little button on the left-hand side, which you press. So we're gonna 
press it, and then do it with the screwdriver. And we get the blue pairing light. So it'll flash. Okay, so we pressed it on the left hand side there, got our flashing blue light, and the Pro Smart has automatically detected the SmartLink device, and we're ready to start pairing. All right, so I've just gone into pairing the Smart Temp, and on the back of the Smart Temp, there is a little button. If the light on the back goes red, then press it and hold the button a second time until the light goes green. Red. Green. Done. Sensor has been paired successfully. Okay, so now we've got that one. All right, got our gas bottle. Place it on the bench here. Clean the bottom of it off. It's gonna go, next one is Smart Sense, add a sensor. Select location first, so we'll call it gas front one. Select size, small bottle, four kilo. Add a sensor. Press the OK button. Press this button once. Smart sensor is now installed. Take the little bit of tape off the back. They put a bit of protective tape over there just to protect that rubber sensor from coming off. So pop that. Now that rubber sensor, remember, goes right in the middle of the bottle. So you've got to try and get it as well as clone. Successfully paired. Great. And just put on the ground here beside me. It takes a little bit of time for the gas to settle inside because the gas is sort of swishing around. So just give that time to settle and we'll see that back on our screen in just a second. And the last one to do is our TPMSs. I'm gonna, we're just gonna disappear into the background here for a minute and we're gonna go and put these two TPMSs onto one of the motorbikes and it'll pick up the signal. Just pulled over one of the dippers now, so if we wanted to install one of the dippers, we can take up to four water tanks to be wired into the back of the ProSmart, we could install that. And that cable connection here in the back, one end goes into the dipper, the other end goes directly in the top of the smart link. All right, so on our actual ProSmart app, as we can see now, we've got, going from the bottom, we've got TPMSs, we've got, the gas has only got 9% left in, I thought it was almost empty, it is. Outside temperature here, so our temperature here is matching the temperature sensor here, so that's a good sign, they're both calibrated nicely together. I haven't put any water tanks in there yet, and we've got 13.2 volts on our battery. Great little feature that we've got down the bottom here is you can change the sensors. So if you only wanted to see, for example, your temperature sensors, you'll just see your two temperature sensors. If you just want to see your batteries or let's say your pressure, just your TPMSs, I've got two TPMSs um, on the background over there and a couple of tires, and away you go. So you can do that. In your settings menu, you can add them, you can update, do an update on the actual app, an update on the device. Um, we've got unpairing sensors, we've got wired sensors. We can go through a whole range of different settings and you can change their, some of their configurations. So as a help section, it takes you off onto our website, etc. So, So there you go. So that's how you will do your setup on your ProSmarts. All very simple, whether it be the ProSmart Starter, ProStart Standard or the ProStart Premium. You get your kit, get it all wired up, um, get this aerial standing up so that for a little more range, the Bluetooth sensors will pick it up here with the uh, antenna and uh, get it installed on your phone and uh, happy days. You can use this with any power management system out there. So it doesn't matter what sort of battery charger you've got, doesn't matter if you've got solar, or anything else. So this just sits over the top of it and does its own form of monitoring. So it doesn't interfere with anything else. It's compatible with all the other systems out there, the BM Pros and all the rest of the like of those out there. All right, enjoy your travels.